Well, good day, tubes. How's she hanging? Pretty good here. Pretty good here. Uh, so we brought down our little sheets of stuff that we got yesterday. That's the three inch by quarter inch. I got two uh, five foot pieces. Uh, just you know, keep a little bit of spare. There's our hopefully to be side plate, wear plate for the bucket. Uh, but I haven't, of course, cut this out yet. I probably will today, but uh, I'm just working right now over here on some bucket ears. This is the hardest part of the build, is doing bucket ears like this. Um, only because, it's hard to explain, but there's a heck of a lot of geometry stuff in this. To, uh, to get these positioned right, you know, you could have them up this way, or you could bring them forward, or up this way more, or it all changes how much it's going to, you know, open. Now, I'm looking at this bucket, and it actually opens too much. So it opens up this way too much, this little bucket here. So I'm trying to think... This is one of my old templates that I've made up, but of course that's a different pipe. But it fits pretty close. It's pretty darn close to that. So I'm going to, uh, I got this traced here from the profile of the bucket. It's gonna change a little bit, but you know, I could move these, this kind of all over the place here and uh, yeah. So, uh, Kind of a trial and error thing, you know, like um, what you want to do here. I don't know. It's just it's going to take a lot of brainstorming for me, but I need to put this on here and get a little more orientation of where the actual bucket is here. So let me get that back on top here. Okay, so something like this, but it all depends. Like I say, where I mount these things, you know, I could mount them out forward like this. But now what would that give me? That would give me a heck of a lot of curl in, but not much out, I believe. So I need to compensate here a little bit with something and uh, get something drawn up. I kind of... Um, I'm just I'm a little struck. I'm going to have to do some... Some private brainstorming, I guess, <laughs> to uh, to think about the best method for this. See that? I think I want it more straighter, just because of the way this really kind of swoops around. So that's see that changes everything too. If I had brought this around more this way, it would have been a different. Or if I would have gone more this way, it would have changed where these things are big time too. There's so many different little factors you don't really realize until, you know, you build it, put it together. It's like, oh crap, that's no good. <laughs> but uh, so far I've done, you know, pretty good with my bucket stuff here. And uh, I just have to brainstorm here again, I guess, and figure out uh, what we're going to do. It's probably going to take pretty much most of this sheet. <laughs> and I do have some extras until I kind of get the right configuration. So I had this one too, which is pretty close to that one, but... Uh, it kind of almost, it almost fits actually pretty good on this one, but I think it needs to be a little bit taller. So, you know, we could do, could do this one down here, but then, uh, it almost looks to me like it needs to be up like this a bit. So, I mean, that changes a huge factor right there, where it sits on the machine, where it curls open and stuff, so it's going to be a, trial and error but uh, you wouldn't think there's that much to it but there actually is quite a bit to that so I'll uh, get some brainstorming going here and we'll cut out a couple of things and see how we uh, see how we like it all right this is most likely going to be a lot of trial and error uh, but we'll get her we'll get her figured out here eventually you know, some design that we like so I'm just gonna cut this all right out here first Ooh, geez. Oh. And uh, the inside line is actually 
the uh, where it actually has to go around. That might be a little too much swoop though, so we might have to cut a bit of this off of there, but it's, it's like I say, it's easier to cut cut some off than it is to really add some more to it, so. Okay, so we'll start eliminating our parts here, so. <laughs> um, now this, yeah, okay, so. These are actually medical scissors <laughs> for cutting off. You know, if you have an accident, they can get under you without jabbing you with the, the scissors. They get under with that little step thing, and then they can cut your whatever off if you're in a, an accident or something or whatever have you. So, yeah, this will be a little bit of trial and error because I guarantee you I probably won't get this the first shot. like that. Um, now this, let's just uh, try try that to start here. We'll see how we, it's not too bad. I'm looking at uh, my other buckets and the factory buckets too and pretty much everything is like right over top and they're not really forward, they're not way too far back so I think somewhere in about there might be all right. Hmm. I'm not 100% sure what I like though. I'm trying to keep this a little higher too so I clear clear things. Now what do I want to do down here? What do I want to feather something out? Like we could do, uh, let's see here. It's off a little bit on this profile on this piece here, but I can always weld something to that. See, the more support you have back here, the better, the better it would be. So if we go, uh, let's see, something. I don't know if I want to uh, do something like this. And then come back. Now I remember there was something to do with this part here. I think it needed to be down a little more if I remember right. Um, hmm. That doesn't look too bad, and I have a little bit of a wrap there, even though I probably could end it, end it right there or something. Just bring this right down, straight maybe. Bring that right down there. It's kind of nice to have it wrap around a little bit. It gives it a little bit more support, you know, and stuff. But I think that might be pretty good. It'd be nice to uh, if I had some real thin stuff just to cut these out and uh, you'd have to drill them though and everything it's kind of nice just to do it and, and it's done with so I know before what I've done is actually made two of these and drilled holes and actually mounted this on the machine and see where things curl to because you don't really know until you get it on the machine you know how how much it's gonna curl and open you know because that may not be enough. You might have to sit further back with your machine to get it to actually curl and dig that spot, right? So it's a big trial and error kind of thing. So, but I think I'm up pretty good, up pretty high. Be one pin hole. Oh, well, there's where's my other template gone here? Not oh, that one. Was that that one I used? No, it wasn't that one. That one. Yeah, so the holes would probably be in the same kind of area here. Let me let me draw the holes in here, maybe, and then we'll see uh, how it's looking from that. This is this has got to be the hardest part <laughs> of building building a bucket, you know, especially when you're doing it from scratch, like I do, right? So.
That doesn't look too, too, too bad. Oh, I just, you know, I'd like to do it in something, uh, hmm, something metal that I could just kind of see and just spot weld to the bucket and see how it's going to work before I put the half inch right through or do all the drilling and then it ends up I don't like it, but. Hmm. Hopefully that would be enough for the curl. I'd, I'd really like to cut it out of some real thin stuff and tack that on just to kind of loosely mount the bucket onto the machine and just see how it is before you know you go ahead. So I, I might even just do that. It's a little bit of an extra step that I don't really kind of need to do, but uh, I know I've got some thinnery stuff back there, so maybe that wouldn't be a bad idea. Okay, I'm going to try something kind of silly. I'm just going to try to punch these out of here. At least make an impression. Yeah, they're sort of not going to probably work here. But. I don't know if that's enough punching or not. No, I don't think so. Should get myself a set of those punch. Should uh, sort of get to the spot. Ooh. There we go. Sort of, kind of good. Sort of, kind of worked. <laughs> should, uh, should get one of these and drill some concrete with it, get rid of the teeth, and then just make her sharp, and then toink punched. Actually, you know what? That would work. <laughs> that would work. All the metal flakes from holy. I don't think that's enough punching yet, but uh, that's pretty good, isn't it? Oh, look at that. Sweet. It's rough, but should work. That should. Uh, should be all right. I'm gonna cut these out of some real thin stuff here, though. Hopefully, it doesn't warp it. It's pretty thin stuff I got here. So this stuff's like wafery thin. That might be fun trying to plasma cut that. Uh, tip down here it's probably going to get blown off okay a carbon copy. Ah, crap. Moved on me. Not that it's got to be bang on perfect, but... You know, I'll 
probably put these together and then drill them both the same. Ooh, geez. All right, I can't remember now what I used this for originally. There was a big circle cut out of it though. I don't remember, but this stuff's pretty darn thin as you can see. It's pretty floppy stuff, so hopefully it plasma cuts all right and it doesn't get too hot and starts warping on me, but uh, all right, we'll get that set up outside here and uh, blast those two out. All right, there's our rough cut plates. I'm just drilling the, uh, the one inch holes right now. I hope they're one inch. <laughs> I think so. Um, and this, this is, of course, real thin, 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 thin stuff, so it goes through like pretty good. I'm uh, going to film this because, honestly, I don't know what else I'm going to put on today's video for this because now uh, I'll get these uh, tacked on here and then I'll have to... Uh, uh, how am I going to do this with where you guys are? I have to put you on the other side here. Uh, but I got to get the machine off and then take the bucket that's on it now off and then get these plates mounted and then mount it to the bucket and spot weld them on. It's going to be a little bit messing around just to uh, see if these are the right plates or not. So let's uh, do some drilling. All right, here we go. So I'm just drilling into a piece of wood just so I don't drill into my table. Start the hole at free drill. This one to drill. Hopefully they're both in the same spot. <laughs> I'm hoping anyways. switch back here turns the light on and off there too doesn't take much to burn through that in the metal holy I wish the half inch was up fast but anyways we got the drill and figured out. Let go. Okay, so there's our two plates. Let's go see how they look on the bucket. Okay, so they're not fitting 100% perfect, but it's amazing what a welder can fill in for you. Um, yeah, they're not bang on perfect, but uh, that's why I like to uh, get them on the machine. So the machine will kind of line line these up for you right and then you know you'll have maybe a little bit more gap on one side but you can always fill that up so there we go they're not going to probably stay there I just need to go up more and about there somewhere I think it was four inch or something between the two I can't remember let me go measure yeah, four inch, but I left a little bit extra on the ones I make for a uh, uh, little buffer area, you know. So I have to, I uh, need like three hands here now. Anyways, we'll have to get these on the machine. 
through the pins and uh, just spot weld them to this thing enough that it'll hold that I can actually manipulate this. I don't think I think these should be. They're not really strong this way, but they're pretty strong this way for curling. I don't. Maybe those would even work. I don't know. <laughs> but I'll probably have to do some at a half inch. So okay, I got a lot of work here. I got to get the big trailer out. Hook onto the Mini X trailer, drag it out, unload the Mini X, take the bucket off, put these on. <laughs> a lot of a lot of messing about. So that's going to be a few minutes, but it's starting near lunchtime. So I'm going to go grab a bite to eat, and I'll maybe do that after lunch. All right, we are outside, and uh, I guess I don't really actually have to get this thing off. We. Uh, we need to get them started though, so I can get the arm up and uh, get the big bucket off here and then uh, put on the brackets. Just to give her a spot weld. See if I like those brackets. There a bit, we'll get this bucket off of here. This one works pretty good too. lined up to the bucket here and we'll spot welder on. Okay, this is the tricky part. Ready. 
getting darn close. Okay, I'm gonna spot weld that on right, I think right there. Actually looks pretty good. I think. I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna juice that there, and then we'll give her a little curling test here. See how how we like it. Okay, we're extremely lightly tacked welded on. I just did one on the back, one on the top by the by the bar, and that's it. So one on each side. Everything else is pretty loose too. So. So, uh, hang on, I'm just going to do a little bit of testing here. Hang on a sec. I'm not minding it, but there is going to be some areas I'm going to have to change. I got a bind right here. This needs to either get cut way down or just right off like that, maybe. This might have to get a little bit smaller too. I got a little bit of a bind, a bind on those things, but that's that's not too bad, you know. That's about where I'd be when I'm dumping it. I'm more thinking of like the level, right? Now I'm awful close too to uh, the pin here on the bar. Hmm. I'm almost wondering if this hole should have been further down, but that doesn't kind of look right then. If I go further, further up with a hole, that would push this bar even more into this. Normally this wouldn't make a make a make a difference, but this is the the mount for the thumb here, so I don't really want to be mushing that. These could almost be further this way, which would drop the whole bucket some. But uh, I don't I don't think that's really too bad. I'm I'm curled up. Like you know, how much more do I really need it? The only thing is you'd have to curl. You know, because sometimes I'm way out here, it'd be kind of spilling out, right? So you'd have to make sure when you when you curl, you keep her try to keep her level. But the the dirt's going to be piled up here. You got to remember too. So this thing's going to kind of interfere with it. It's not the best design for their thumb area here, but I mean, I guess I guess it works. But uh, uh, I don't know what else to do to change that. I don't really want to change the dynamics of it too 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 much but uh, I really don't have too much more here anyways even if I do cut this out because it's going to end up hitting into hitting into the bucket there yeah see that would
wouldn't make a difference. It uh, wouldn't be that bad if this piece wasn't here, but unfortunately that piece is there, but we definitely got a bigger bucket than what we're kind of used to, so I think, I think that might be all right. This might need a little more trimming though and stuff, but we're awful, awful close. I don't really know how much more I've got to come out. You know, if I curl up more, I should take the measure this rod and see how far, it might not be that much more anyways. Uh, okay. <laughs> I have it on the coil. Okay. Put you back on the tripod here. We'll pull this bucket off. Just want to see how much more I've got to uh, be able to come out. So 11 and a quarter. Actually worked out pretty good. It doesn't doesn't curl anymore anyway, so it doesn't make a big difference. Uh, 11, 11 and a quarter. Let's double check this here. So I'm happy. Uh, I was just curious that there might be a little bit more curl in there than, than there actually uh, than there actually was with the bucket on. So that's full curl. That'll be uh, that'll be it, I guess. Those will be our brackets. Minus, you know, I might trim a little bit here and there, but I should uh, mark that, I suppose. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. So I guess we'll get the bucket back off of here again. everything away for now. Let's get some grease off of this so I don't get it all over the place. And uh, I'll give them a spray down maybe with some brake cleaner after. Let's see if we can get these off again. <laughs> They're pretty strong for spot welds. Holy cow, maybe they would have been alright if I just welded them solid.
Come on, metal fatigue. That's pretty good, eh? Holy. It actually ripped the chunk out of there, but stayed on the bucket. So that's pretty good. It's a pretty good spot weld, I'd say. Oh boy, this one might be a little more difficult. Well, I got one off anyways, if this one kind of gets wrecked, it's not really a big deal. I guess I could get my little grinder in there and uh, grind them, but I was kind of hoping they just kind of fatigue off, but that one I think is going to be a little more difficult, so I better get my little grinder out. Okay, let's see if we got this. That's better. Oh yeah. Good. That come off pretty good. So I'm pretty happy with those plates. Uh, I will get those transferred to some half inch material. And uh, don't know if I'm gonna get to cutting them out today or not, but uh, we'll get them on the transfer anyways. Check out this nice hunk of stuff. Oh man, it's heavy though. inch by 12 inch by four feet something like that can't remember now I, I know I cut uh, four foot nine inch I cut a piece of that off for the cutting edge I do believe it was so yeah, so this is our uh, material for, for these things. And I've gone and bent this a little bit now. Whatever, whatever way kind of works. I guess I really only need one of these, one of these things. Oh yeah, I bent all that up too. That works pretty good for a test piece though. Um, so I don't know what the best way is to lay these out with, you know, trying to save material, whatever, but. or drop, whatever they call that stuff. Um, I don't know, it's just kind of one of those shapes where you can't, <laughs> you know, can't get her perfect, but uh, got to be some combination somewhere. Anyways, it doesn't really make a massive, huge difference. I just don't want to get too close to the edge because it makes more of a mess than anything. So, we'll stay in a little bit. I'd like to get these cut today, but we actually have a fairly big rain, snow, Freezing rain storm on its way right now here, and it's not looking so good. So, I mean, I could cut these and then do them later or whatever, but I'm sick of cutting them, and then tomorrow I would. Uh, stupid pencil. Tomorrow I'd, f I'd do some finishing on them, you know, drill those things out and stuff. I may not uh, film that though, I might just go ahead and, and do that. Give myself a little extra room here.
And I could plasma cut these holes, but then I got so much machining after with my burr tool and stuff to get them perfectly round, it's better just to, just to cut them and drill them. So it's not raining outside yet. Maybe I'll pop out and we'll cut these out. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll film that for you. Um, what's going on here now? That's supposed to come down. Oh yeah, and then, then uh, I thought I'd marked on those, but I'll have to, uh, yeah. So this actually needs to come down more here. Just a little more clearance, I think. Something like that. I'll figure that out. I'm up to, with the, the bench grinder anyways, but uh, okay, so I'll get all set up out here. We'll we'll plasma cut these and that might be that might be it for today. All right, there's our bits. They're still very quite warm, and uh, they're gonna need some, I guess I'll call it tooling. I, I don't know. Uh, they're gonna need some refining. So we gotta bust up all the slaggy draws and stuff. Okay, these things, minus the legs, kind of look like uh, little elephants, you know, running around with their nostril-y things. Oh, it's still hot, hanging out. <laughs> so, these are probably going to need a pile of work. Yeah, I have to take them to the grinder. That one's tremendous. And that one's miles off too, so. We're going to need to grind or burr tool maybe to square it all up. It would be hard to kind of square those up on a grinder. These parts will be alright for, for leveling out, but uh, oh boy, they're hot right now. So I'll maybe take this one to the grinder. It's I think the first one I did. Ah, they're still really hot though. <laughs> I might have to let them cool tonight. Work on them again tomorrow, but uh, go. We're uh, sort of sort of almost there. I have to uh, equalize them up too, you know, because I see this one's, they need some machining. I guess we'll call it or grinding or whatever you want to call it, but you can't get bang on with the plasma cutter freehand. At least I can. I don't have the the hand steadiness for that, so um, but I always leave them a little outside the line anyways just in case you know 
So you can see where the line actually is here. I've got to grind all that smooth and try to square it up. And uh, drill them and uh, it won't be too far. We can uh, prime it and paint it. That'd be awesome. But uh, I'll have to let these things cool because they're like pretty stupid hot right now. So maybe just leave them right up, right up here to cool and uh, something like that. Well, we got a Princess Auto Flyer today. Figured we'd look at that before we say good day. See if there's anything stands out. I don't know. This always stands out to me, but that's a lot of freaking money for just some hot water through a pressure washer nozzle. But anyways, um, yeah. I don't see much on the front there. Chainsaw. I think I got enough chainsaws. I've got six, I think. Four. Five, maybe. I can't remember now. <laughs> Quite a few. Well, I got one, two, three, four, five. That I can think of. <laughs> um, six if you include the pole saw. But anyways. What do we got here? What do we got here? What do we got here? What is that? C. Super Out Set. They're like... Interesting. Uh, I don't see anything. It's just sort of specialty tool. Triple square master bit set. I think I'm all so good for that. Some submersible pumps and stuff. Ooh, they got a shop vac here. Duro vac. That's pretty good. I'm actually thinking of getting something smaller separate for my sand blaster that would maybe sit underneath and I just put the hose up and in wire it right in direct uh, this thing's okay but it's kind of in the way you know I I'm gonna probably store it in this spot when I'm not using it but then if I want to use it it's gotta you know come around and ah, it's driving me nuts having this thing here so I'll have to figure out some something for that but uh, anyway so we don't need a big vac for that but it's got to be the bigger hose that's the only thing it's got to be that big diameter hose not the little small stuff because that's what fits into there without doing too much messing around to, to make it go smaller but uh, anyways oh we looked at that we looked at that oh we've got trailer stuff on sale terminal kits I think I'm good for that dual wall adhesive lined shrink tube stuff hmm I think I'm good for that too Got a whole bunch of that stuff. Some wires. Window butt connectors. Oh, interesting. So you can see the wire, I guess. Some tires. Uh, motorcycle jack. Uh, good, I think. Um, more trailer stuff. Trailer hitches. Receivers. Some welding stuff. Ooh, smart TIG ACDC 200p inverter. Nee, no. Ooh, mini milling machine. That's expensive enough though for that little thing. That's a power fish, so it's not like a f official brand or anything, you know. So nee, it's a little bit much for something like that. Welding jackets. That's what I should be getting. <laughs> uh. Another jacket to worry about. Oh, what is that? Welding welding cable lug crimper. Hmm. That's pretty cool. I just smash it with a hammer and a vise or something, but don't do many of those. Ooh, concrete mixer. That's a pretty darn cheap price for that. I bet you that's a pretty chin chintzy, chintzy mixer. Concrete cutter, air compressor, I think we're good for that. Speaking of that, I better shut that off. Uh, bending brake, a couple of motors. Into the pressure washer stuff again now. Ooh, gas post driver. Wow, that's cool. That's actually really cool. I wonder if you could use that as a jackhammer and attach that to the Mini X somehow. <laughs> That'd be pretty sweet, wouldn't it? Toe type aerator. 
I've often thought of doing the aerating out here, but uh, the problem is with all those corner posts and stones and stuff that are in the ground, you'd end up wrecking that thing, or wrecking the stones. So, not a good idea. Sprayers, nice little wagon there. Sprayers and stuff, wheelbarrows. That's a really deep wheelbarrow, holy. Some spreaders. Some mittens and gloves, some toolboxes. Uh-oh. That was a phone call for my big, big trailer. Not the camper trailer, the big flat deck trailer to uh, have a safety done on it and make sure everything's good. Got to be within compliance, you know. It's got brakes on it. and I don't understand that because you got brakes on that, but I guess it's a commercial vehicle. Has to be inspected yearly. But you have a great big, huge, heavy-duty camper trailer with brakes on it, but you never have to have them done. So I don't get it, but anyways. <laughs> Ontario loot laws are weird. So that was him calling to. Uh, I was gonna see if I could get him to do my truck too. And no, oh, no, no, we don't. We don't do trucks here. We're not set up for that. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> do trailers, but not a truck. But that's fine. That's fine. We'll have to go somewhere else for that. So what else we got on this page? Um, looks like some measuring equipment. Ooh, cool. And, oh, that's what I need, a hollow punch set. Doesn't say, oh, one-eighth to three-quarter. Mm. Doesn't kind of go quite big enough. I need up to, like, a one-inch. I could have used one of them today and put the punch down to, doink, punched. But that worked, I guess, pretty good. Um, metal punch kit. Ooh! Half-inch to two-inch round punches. Doesn't say what size of stuff it'll punch through, but probably probably the stuff I would cut the little mini thin brackets out of today would probably be the absolute most for those things. Um, what do we got over here? Ooh, a little air belt sander. That's pretty sweet. Some drill stuff. Some brushes. Hole saw kits. Those are probably absolute junk. <laughs> Maybe for wood, that's probably about it though. But anyways, when you get a whole a whole kit of them for oh wait a minute hole saw kit hot buy five ninety nine yeah that must be them there these ones are a little bit better they're buy metal so fifty bucks uh, what the heck is that die grinder yeah I got one of those right there oh we're in the center. Oh, they changed the look of their aerials a little bit. They're a little different now. Mine are, well, pretty much the same, but a little different. Spray kit. Yeah, I don't spray very much stuff, really. Some carts. That's a neat little standy thing there. Scissor lift. Uh, little torches. Yeah, I don't see anything there. Drill press. Ooh. Uh, vice mount bending brakes. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Huh. I don't do much bending though. <laughs> but uh, anyways, that's pretty cool. Oh, sweet. They got these things back again. Those little aero, aero disc thingies. ATV. I uh, looked at one there, and I'm like, oh, that'd be kind of cool. And then I'm like, oh, I could use one for, for our stuff. You know, when I actually did a garden way back behind the house. And, and then we went to look at and getting one, and they didn't have any. Oh, no, we don't get those anymore. Okay. <laughs> sediment filters. Fuel pumping stuff. I'm not seeing anything that I really need here. I guess I'm pretty good. Waterproof dry bags. Ooh. Aluminum paddles. This will probably be surplus stuff or something maybe here. Work lights, some straps, some winches, some ropes. Guess I'm good. Sealed 12 volt rechargeable battery. Ooh. Trailer breakaway system. There you go. So yeah, I'll have to find somewhere in town here that'll inspect my truck for me and make sure it's good. Uh, 
but he says they take the wheels off the tire or the tires off um, the wheels off the trailer and they inspect all the magnets and do some lubricating and stuff in there and check the thickness of the brakes and so I guess it's a little more screwing around with a, a truck you know drone quadcopter yeah it's recharging accessories ooh arrows slingshot I don't see anything that I need I think that's the last page sandblaster already had one of those I built one of those works pretty pretty good but the hoses need to be a little bit bigger with it but anyways it does work and this one I that's kind of neat I might have to get another one of these thingies from somewhere this one I've got here is pretty good but the stupid thing doesn't stay on on the Schrader valve and then you end up as you're trying to fill it doesn't just doesn't stay on I don't know what's wrong with it but it's been a good good one but it might be time for a new one I don't know and I guess that's it Princess Auto well that's it for today I got them kind of cleaned up I couldn't go anymore because they were getting so hot I need to do a little more to them though but they're fitting not too bad you know like I got a little bit of a tail hanging out there but uh, I can just and weld that in so I think uh, hopefully she's all good I should have enough onto the curve there that it shouldn't have a problem um, yeah so I uh, just have to do a little bit of equalizing yet and uh, making them both the same kind of thing just a little bit more grinding to them but they're uh, this one's not bad this one's really hot yet so we'll leave them for now but anyways it's just starting to snow outside so I guess I might as well head her home let's see oh yeah blizzard holy blizzard look out but anyways this grinder is freaking awesome I mean it no even stalling it I'm just mowing this stuff off like crazy and it's getting so hot between the through the gloves I couldn't even hold them anymore so doesn't even doesn't even slow her down not like the other one's like so this one's freaking awesome but uh, I gotta do a little bit more tomorrow so but anyways there we go we're almost almost there ready to weld her solid sweet holy freaking crap I better not say good day out there I don't want the camera to get all soaked in crap but uh, anyways just didn't doing a bit of phone calling back and she's snowing Look at that, eh? I think I've seen April 8th we got a good dump one here. And that's about the latest I've ever seen. So, But uh, anyways, uh, you guys have a good day and stuff. We will catch you later. And tomorrow we'll do some more work on that uh, uh, bucket, hopefully. Get those uh, bucket ears drilled and all planed out, we'll say, and ready to go on. Um, we'll have to... Uh, hook it up to the machine again like I did there today with those those half plates or whatever we're gonna call them templates maybe templates I guess we would call that and uh, that seemed to work pretty good I was pretty happy with with the curl and stuff I think it should work pretty good so hopefully it digs good too um, pretty crappy ground in here and gravelly hard old crap but uh, I guess we also have to do those side plates too so uh, should have plasma cut it that while I had it going there darn it oh well it's okay I can get it out again but uh, anyways, we'll catch you later. I gotta burrow myself through the snowstorm. That's not that bad, really, but it's supposed to turn to rain later and freezing and rain and stuff, so great, lovely. One last kick at the face, I guess. Say, hey, Winter, thanks, Winter. Frig off, Winter. <laughs> Go summer. No, it's gonna be too hot. So hot out here, tubes. It's too hot. It sucks. But uh, anyways, that'll, that'll be in about three months. It'll be too hot, right? So... But uh, anyways, uh, you know, I always think that too, you know, oh, it's so freaking cold for the winter, it sucks so much, and then you get to summer, it's like, man, I wish I could have one of those nice cold days we had in the winter, long gone, <laughs> but anyways, uh, weather's weird, welcome to Canada, that's all I can say, so have a good day, thanks for watching, we'll catch you tomorrow, we'll do a little bit more work on that bucket.